Okay, welcome back to Aussie Homesteading. Uh, today we're going to be making our own homemade butter, just quick, very simply with the blender and cream. We are using a cream we got from Costco today, which has 3.5% uh, fat. So, um, with the full litre container, that should make 500 grams of butter, more or less. And we are just going to watch how very, very quick this is. You just start on slow just to get it to start thickening up. And now we're going to go high. Okay, um, I just turned it off so that we could have a look at the stage. This is just about to start turning into butter. Uh, right now we've got very thick cream. Um, this would be the maximum you would serve thickened cream at. You wouldn't want it any thicker than this. Um, but I'm just going to close it off and uh, keep it going and we'll watch it turn into butter. Whoop! Mind me, I'm just doing it with one hand. <laughs> Okay, now just coming back again, I've stopped it so that we can see the texture change is starting to separate. But what we're going to do, and this is exactly what you're looking for, okay, but what we're going to do at this stage is just stripe, wipe down the sides of our bowl. Um, yeah, I'm already feeling some... Um, hardness in the center there so it's just a matter of wiping off the sides of your bowl so that it all has a go um, you really want it turning to butter about the same time um, when you're working with a big lot which um, I am in this container uh, this go here we've got hang on I'm just trying to get the button Zeta don't touch that okay mommy needs don't touch it mommy needs to push the button okay without her jamming my fingers in um, and off we go. We've got a big quantity in there.
Now, we have butter and buttermilk. The liquid is the buttermilk, which we're going to keep and we'll use that in another recipe, uh, making a cheese. Um, we're going to make it like an 18th century cheese. And because we'll be using pasteurized milk and they actually used um, raw milk, we just need to add back some of the nutrients for the process that were uh, taken from pasteurization. So uh, we will most certainly be keeping the buttermilk. I mean, otherwise you can drink it anyway, but we'll use it in other recipes, but I already have plans for this buttermilk. So just with as much from my clean hands, by the way, they are clean, I just washed them, as much buttermilk as I can squeeze out. And then we're putting it onto a piece of cheesecloth and we're gonna be getting out as much buttermilk as we can. We do have a lot of butter now, don't mm -hmm. we? We do have a lot of butter. How much butter we got? Lots! More than more. Actually, I'm just going to strain this bit off. Um, you can get milky, aren't mm -hmm. they, and buttery. So, I'm just going to put that aside. Better scissors. They've been stolen as usual. My good scissors are not in my drawer. So with six kids, six kids I guarantee someone has stolen my good scissors. So we are just going to drain out this buttermilk now. If I can get my bowl off. Look. Maybe spin the other way. <laughs> Maybe if it wasn't so slippery. There we go. Okay, now what do I do with my spatula? Whoop. Quite a bit of butter in the sides there. And we might just put that buttermilk through as well. That's what we um, scraped off. And now I'm just going to take that away. Now look how much buttermilk have we got. 150 ml of buttermilk out of a kilo of cream. Just gonna wipe this down. I love butter now, Yeah, so what we're gonna More do. Than ever. We made quite a little mess here, haven't we? Yeah, we did. Mummy's gotta clean it up. Just move that cheesecloth away. Now we are gonna open up our butters because we actually need to now clean this in water. And that'll help us also remove any further buttermilk, although we won't be saving it at this point. That'll be getting washed. Get as much butter off the cloths as I can. And we just gotta run it through our fingers in the water. And that's just helping remove any um, 
further buttermilk. And as you can see, the water's already gone quite cloudy. Cloudy, sorry. So if we just and you're just running the butter, getting as much water through the Mommy, butter as you can. Some of the water that's left on me. And me too. <laughs> okay, now. Okay. Now I've um, taken as much buttermilk out of there as I can. Thoroughly gone through the butter. I'm just squeezing out any excess water at the moment. And we'll put it into our clean bowl. Any other little bits of floating butter I'll just take out. Now, if you've got animals, especially pigs, you can give them this here, this water. Don't waste it. But um, I don't actually have any pigs at the moment, so I will be binning that. So now we are going to be adding salt. And I usually just do it by hand. And I'm using pink Himalayan salt, but any salt, table salt will do. And it's really kneading through with your hands and you're still going to get more moisture coming out. The salt is helping to remove any excess water from the cleaning process. Any extra buttermilk and you can just see it's coming out on the sides. I'll just tip it onto this. So, and you don't want to add that to your buttermilk because A, it's also dirty water and B, it's been salted now. And depending what you're going to do with that buttermilk, you obviously don't want any salt in there. But you can see there's still fluids coming out so thank you Mr. Salt aside from that it's um, also going to help preserve it butter, homemade fresh butter obviously isn't going to last long in anyone's house anyway but generally you've got the shelf life of the cream minimum Mommy, if not I you're looking at at least a week and even two weeks and the more salt you put in there obviously you're going to get a little bit more shelf life um, than just using it unsalted. You could have stopped at this stage and just squeezed it out with cheesecloth again to get out any water, excess water, and um, if you wanted an unsalted butter, but specifically, but generally, if the more salt you put in to taste, obviously you don't want it too salty, but that's just gonna help bring your um, moisture out. And, we might have Mr. Cameraman have a taste and tell us if it needs more um, salt. No, that's nice. Nice. Mm. Would you like to try some, Zizi? Tell me if it's good butter. Do you like butter? Tastes good. All right. So now with my one-handed extraordinarity. Ah. I love it. It's yummy. We're going to put it into the container. Now I just have to squeeze out that excess water again. And into our container. And honestly, in our home with eight people, that is probably lucky to last three, four days tops without cooking, just on toast and sandwiches. So I will clean the container up. But that is very healthy and extremely fresh butter. And without weighing it, because my scales are packed away, that will be about 500 grams and 500 grams of your buttermilk there. So we've actually probably got 40, 450 grams of butter because we know we've got 550 grams of meals of buttermilk. So, okay, just in closing, um, in Australia, butter is pretty well the cost of cream. So, um, when you're looking at your, um, you know, your, your containers of butter, but there's nothing like making it yourself. So, I do um, recommend you at least make butter once in your life because the taste difference, being Mommy. fresh, um, let me guess, you want to drink some buttermilk because it's better than normal milk. Um, okay. Um, yeah, nothing like making your own butter. The taste is... Mummy, it tastes like almond milk. Really? Okay. Um, anyway, um, yeah, I recommend do it at least once in your life um, and taste the difference because um, even your Western Stars and butters that you make, or Western Stars is probably the closest, but um, your other butters that you're buying... Um, 
you know, they're just not as good as this. So this is like a delicacy, really. It's what our ancestors lived on and what they were used to. But for us, it's... Um, in a video coming up soon, we're going to can butter that we've made ourselves. So um, be sure to stay tuned for that. It's going to be a great video. Uh, see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe and hit like if you like it. Thank you.